Hey everyone, welcome to Bali. So, I'm gonna do three little motorcycle adventures while I'm here. Day one, today, we're going for a scooter ride. So we're gonna, um, oh by the way, I've got all my safety gear on. I've got the Balinese adventure outfit on. How are you going there, safety wise? Yeah, good. Right, so we're gonna get a scooter. We're just gonna get on a scooter and go to Kuta. Now we're gonna fly up to um, Changu and just sort of head north. Look, for, There's a really cool temple up there. We might go check it out. Should be pretty exciting watching how we navigate through the Bali traffic. So yeah, enjoy this first day. So as you should be well aware, Bali was devastated by the pandemic and the fact that no tourists came for two and a half years. So we've been talking to a few of the locals and they um, tell us a lot about how they literally went back home to their village and they were on rations of rice for two and a half years and uh, chicken, meat, anything like that was an absolute luxury which they didn't get to have so it's kind of cool to be here and um, spend some money amongst the locals. This is straight out the back of our motel Jayakarta down the lane so we're going to go and negotiate for a scooter without being a tight ass but um, we, need, we need a motorcycle for the day so uh, we'll go through that process and how it all happens. It's all single file here too, because as you can see, streets are crazy. Right, so I saw this bloke up here yesterday. She is here, she's in tow. We're gonna go see old mate over here, see what we can get a scooter for. Hey buddy. How are you? How much for a day, full day? For one day? Yeah, one day. For a small one, 100,000 rupees. For big one, 150. So $15? No, one fifty thousand rupees. How much is that in Australian dollars? Twelve dollars. Yeah, yeah. So we'll go with the big scooter. Fifteen dollars for the whole day. Can we get two helmets? Yeah. And what's your name? Rico. Rico. Yeah. No worries, man. Let's get a. I said to you yesterday, I'll come back and get a scooter from you. What's your name? Mal. Mal. Yeah, and Di Lady Diana. 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 Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, yeah. let's get a scooter. So we didn't haggle that price at all. We're just happy to pay. It's 15 bucks, man, for a whole day. So what are we riding here? For the bike? Yeah. This is off the key, halfway key like this. Yeah. For open the seat, press this one. Okay, cool. Oh, Sweet yes. And the razor yeah. inside. Razor. Yeah, registration. Oh, yeah. Yep. And for open the fuel. For... Oh, yeah. oh, fuel. fuel there. And on the key, up the stand, one block, one block. Up the stand, hold the brake. Yeah. Hold the brake, press this one. Yeah, hold the uh, brake, press. It's the blinker, it's the blinker. Blinkers on that side, yeah. lights on right. that side. Right. Yeah. One, four. Yeah. What's that one? No, no, no. Nothing. Yeah. And um, fuel? Fuel, one block. You want to put some? This Probably. one? 15,000. Yeah, we'll get some and bring it back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with fuel, yeah. All right, thank you, boys. Thank you. You're ready to go? <laughs> go. You gotta take the camera. Oh. Just a hot tip: no one has right of way. Oh, and you squeeze between the tiniest little gaps. Oh God. Oh, 
Everyone's dying. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> Yeah. So we've stayed here before. This is uh, the road down to Barrowa Beach. Fins, we're going to go down there for a look. Then we'll go back towards Dais. Yeah. And then, I don't know, we'll head up the temple up the beach. Yeah. We'll go up the temple. The temple. How much? 150. 150. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> yeah, welcome, my friend. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is the fourth time we've been here today. I fluked my way here again. Just followed the force, mate. Right, I've got to pay for car parking. 2000 Where do we pay? What? For parking. Parking. Okay. Oh, he didn't take money though. Yeah. Pay him? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Got to go back, pay old mate for our parking. $2. No, 20 cents. Check it out. Mate, that was more stressful than any other bike riding I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Fuck Supercross and all that. That's next level. Alright, let's go check Dais out. Gotta pay the man over here. You can park here, we just wasted 20 cents. But whatever. Go get a coffee. I just gotta say right now, my navigation skills, eh? Like absolute random, following roads, turning, turning. Always know the ocean's over this side. I knew uh, Deus was out here somewhere. Literally come around a corner and go, oh, here it is. But it's totally changed. When we first came here 10 years ago, this was just like a, like a farm road with all rice paddies. Everything's just developing all around it. Crazy. These bikes are all for rent here at Deus. So $210 for a week or $40 for a day. Whereas uh, scooter's 20, but you can come today and rent one of these. 40 bucks a day. How sick of these things. Over and out at Dais. Got to go find our scooter. <laughs> Lucky. Lucky. It's right here. Oh, so I'll just show you. We're on the Yamaha NMAX 155. This is the big scooter. We had the choice of the little one or the big one. We took the big one. More horsepower, baby. Gold shocks. Oh yeah, it's got gold shocks. Gold shocks. That's why we chose this one. <laughs> All right, we're heading north. No map. Burn thongs, baby. Let's go this way.
to Tanalot. It's a um, like a beautiful temple, and so we'll give you a bit of a sneak peek at that in a second. We just got to park the buggy. 120 for two, yeah. So that's 124. 12. She's really good with the money. I don't know. <laughs> How much? 100. Another 20,000. That one? Yeah. That one? Yeah. Thank you. Good luck with your baby. Yeah. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> good luck. Thank you. So this was another fluke. We've been here before on our last trip. We rode here, it's called Tanalot. So it's a temple out on the ocean. We'll go down and have a look. They've just come back. This is the entrance, mate. Just follow the signs, not the people. They've already been there, done that. So this is pretty cool. There's all markets up here. You know, just in case you didn't get your t-shirt in Kuta or Legian or Semenyak, you can get your t-shirt up here. Funny enough, I bought some stuff last night. These shorts, singlet, a couple of caps. Oh, look at that little cool car. one of them. How are you going with the heat? Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Pretty sweaty. Check this out, all the little markets. What did it cost to park here? What was it, $1.20 or something? Yeah, so 620000 $1.20. Checking ticket. Did you get ticket? I guess so. Remember to um, keep your tickets. Good old wifey here, she nearly threw it out. Touch it like that. Yeah. Beautiful. What yeah. a carpet python? Yes, carpet python. We have these in Australia. Yeah. Yeah, big ones like this. If you want to hold like that together with the time for this background, no, I can okay. have you for a picture. Where's you, its head? This one's head. Oh my god. You tie the body here, madam. Okay, this way. That's it. Oh Many tamang, sir. Oh my <laughs> Sir? Hey, <laughs> okay, Mo. Oh my gosh. It is so hot. <laughs> As they say, no, it's the heat or the humidity. <laughs> you know, come to Bali in summer. Sweating up a storm. Oh my god. All right. I need to go get a drink from somewhere sooner than later. <laughs> Holy shit. Can it be any hotter? Hmm. Possibly.
money. Uh, I have queen euro. Can you change with rupiah? Can we change the rupiah? Yeah, but that for queen euro queen. Oh no, don't know. No, I haven't got. I can't. No. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which one is city? Brisbane, Melbourne city. Yeah, Brisbane. Yeah. I actually have no idea where we are, it's called Kadung Kadunga Beach. I'm just going on the old theory of um, ocean, ocean to the left. So good, there's no, like no traffic, it's just locals. Uh, all the English signs disappear, is the other thing. Oh man, just gotta make sure I get off the bike without dropping it. All right, dismount. We don't need anything on. Do you, have, do you have smoothie? No, no, bintang. Coconut. No. I'm just going to tell you about the ice situation, as in watered ice. That's what I'm talking about here. So they have government control that um, any tourism place or anywhere that serves drinks has to have a controlled ice. So the ice has to come from bottled water. So even here where we are, at this little warung up on the beach at um, wherever the hell we are, about, we're about halfway up the western coastline and um, their ice is controlled so they've got to get their ice in he just said it's government they buy it from the government so someone must come around and deliver the ice because their water here will get you real sick real quick so um there you go apparently you can't hey we'll find out we'll come back to you if wifey is if i'm as sick as a dog tomorrow and sitting on a toilet this is the reason why yeah Right, I will come back to you on that one. <laughs> so this is crazy. Like we're literally maybe 20 k's, 25 kilometers away from Changu, which is so developed, so commercialized. This here, there's not one English sign at these little cafes here, or warungs, and just so totally different. Uh, no, Aussies here, a couple of euros. Like there was a girl from Russia that was there. But look at this. This will be. We'll get hold of this and we'll come in here and we'll build resorts and shut and all the bullshit on the beach. There's no one here. This is probably like Changu 20 years ago. Have a go. So you know what, the word adventure biking, or the two words adventure biking, this to me is adventure biking. This is still the same thing, okay? I don't need the ski suit, I don't need the motocross boots, I've got a shitty helmet I've borrowed. You know, it's, it's the same thing. We're just out discovering something new. So to me, it's just motorcycle riding. And it's just so awesome to be able to do this. Man, so good, 20 bucks at for today for the scooter and I took the most expensive bike they had actually I negotiated up the scooter was $15 yeah. he didn't want to give it to us because I think he had it booked in for someone else so I I upgraded myself and give it gave him $20 for the whole day and we put about three dollars worth of fuel in it which would get us back and that's plenty back in the tank there is a resort or something over here by the looks of it some letters in there This is so sick. Well, it is one o'clock. We've probably got probably two hours to get back to um, downtown busy. So we'll probably start heading back now and film a bit on the way down. Just a side note on how we are navigating this trip. We're not, we're just um, literally riding and following, following nothing. 
following north. Following north. I'm just following north. But now what we do, we're going to go back and probably every five to ten minutes we keep seeing a sign that says Kuda or Denpazar. So we know we're down that way. We'll just ride, we'll just ride back out of here and head south. And uh, we'll wait till we start to see Kuda, Denpazar signs and just follow them. And you follow that for five or ten minutes and you'll come across another sign. Follow that, follow that, follow that, and we'll be back at our motel. So, um, and then drop the bike back off to uh, old mate. Right, let's roll, man. Jump on, little lady. Dumb and dumber, let's roll. Crazy. It's literally like no rules. You just ride and just <laughs> survive. Pretty much. There's no like like here intersection. I don't know. Shit going everywhere. You just go with the flow with the guy next to you in front of you. Look for a spot to squeeze in. Smile on your face and just ride. It's so sick. This is by far one of the most unique motorcycle experiences ever. Yes, craziness. Look at this, miss the gap, just gotta punch it. Up on the footpath. Woo! Get the gap. <laughs> it's crazy. And no one, this is just their way of life. They just ride, no one cares, no one's up each other. Man. So cool.
Could, could, could Dangi or something? Yeah, way past. Past Changu. Uh, no people, we're quiet area. Yeah. Tanalot. Yeah, we past went to Tanalot. Yeah, we went to Tanalot. 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 Another 45 minutes that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. went a long way. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, fuel is like. Um, Oh, thank you. It, it was down here, so. Oh, thank you so much. Eh? Okay. Yeah. So when you're in Bali, come and see these boys. Yeah, Spe honest, thank you. Special okay, deal. Honest on, on John here, special deal. Don't honest worry. John. Yeah, all right. Morning special. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, boys. Okay. For do chance money, book some trip, everything we do here by honest price. Yeah. yeah. Honest John price. Cool. Okay, thank, thank you, boys. Okay, thank you. Yep. That's very good, brother. Famous motorcycle. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Everyone will want this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to come and see Honest John. Honest John? Yes. And get this scooter with yeah. my sticker on it. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. See ya. So, I'm going to say, without doubt, probably one of the most stressful days I've had on a motorcycle, but probably one of the most fun days as well. So, it doesn't all have to be about 700 k's in a day and wearing all your clothing. That was so badass doing that. How'd you go? How's the stress levels? Yeah, good. Lots of lots of F's on that ride, but we yeah, made it all you. in. We made, yeah, from me. But we made it all in one piece. And we're back. Off to have a smoothie. Rightio, so you know what? I'm signing off on video one. Tomorrow, stand by for video two. I go out with my good friend Kdex on a Husqvarna 501, so that'll be video two of this series. Catch you next video.